couple of years back, I started to finish my basement. It was it was actually already finished when I bought the house, but it was moldy and it was kind of a bad job. So I tore it all out and then I redid it. But basically, the main basement part is done, and it's a huge mess in here because I'm kind of in the middle of like other projects like the garage. So like a lot of the stuff you see behind me actually goes in the garage. And overall, I just need to reorganize everything. Now this is a split level house, so it's basically half basement. So the part you see around me is all basement. And then there's a server room as well, which I made a video of. So that's the servers. And then there's also a crawl space right here. So right behind me, that's this crawl space. And then on the other side, and then crawl space. Yeah, so this is a laundry room. So this is my main panel that comes in. So I kind of messed up here when I did the insulation. Well, obviously I didn't do the insulation, but I did the plumbing. And then I realized after that, because I've put the plumbing inside the walls, I can't really insulate properly. So it's better to have the plumbing on the outside, on the warm side. So I'm going to be redoing that at some point. So the insulation actually stops on that side. But today what we're going to be doing is I want to finish insulating the crawl space. So this is a crawl space over here. So I, I studied that many, quite a few years ago actually. I kind of neglected this project. And it's a huge mess under here. Like It makes it look like I'm a hoarder just seeing all the stuff. Like You can't even see half the stuff because it's hidden by more stuff. That's how bad it is. I do need to do a clean up, like I have old paint cans, a lot of it is expired. I didn't realize what paint actually does expire. So most of that is going to be going garbage. I got these pipes here, those go to the garage. So that's where I'll be running the electrical, the data, and I can actually run two PEX lines in, in one of those. So I'll be doing heat liquid hot water as well. And then the rib joists are already insulated. I spray foamed them a while back. And now something cool about this house too. There's actually a crawl space under the garage. This is the garage. So that's that's how I was able to do those uh, conduits. And it's very echoey in there. As you can tell, very echoey. Oh, oh. I had to do that. Yeah, so more walls here. So that's the front of the house. And then you can kind of see the other side of the crawl space, which we'll go to right now. All right, so this is the other side. I'm already inside. So the server room is on this side. And this is all the stuff I was talking about. Like another computer there, lots of paint cans, more stuff back there. So yeah, I need to do a big cleanup in here. So the goal is to insulate all these walls. And then I want to build shelves. And then a lot of the stuff I can organize in the shelves. So yeah, let's get started.
you can see behind me the insulation is in now I just have the other side to do and once that's done I'm gonna have to put in the vapor barrier and then I should be good to drywall or I might just leave it like that yeah so here's a better view of the work in the rim joists those are foamed but then I have like these old insulation so I'm just kind of shoving it in there and then for whatever's left I'm just gonna put some fiberglass it's just easier to shove the fiberglass in there than to cut these to size and I mean the spray foam is already giving our value anyway so and here's another view of the end so I'm done till there and then I'm just gonna have the rest on the other side to do but this is actually the critical section this all the way to that end because this is actually outside wall the other section is not really an outside wall even though it still gets cold all right so let's get started on this side yeah so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start here I'm gonna work my way all the way to these pipes I'll skip this one for now because I still have some work to do here and then I'll do this wall and then hopefully I can go through a couple of those bags and then I'll be able to get to the other end and then do that one so it shouldn't take too long so I'll get started on that but also I need to put a 2x4 just up there for the header and then I'll insulate the top part too and then at some point I'm gonna make like a trap door there that's a project for another time Alright, so this side is done too. And you can probably hear an echo from the crawl space, it's very echoey in there. Yeah, so this side is all done, all the way to the end. And then this side is all done as well. The only thing missing is where the pipes come out from the garage. And I need to fasten those better. So the next step is to put in the vapor barrier. Well, after I'm done the pipes, that is. So once the pipes are done, then I just need to do the vapor barrier. So uh, basically it's to put the acoustic sealant in the tape and staple it and then I'll be fully insulated. Now the vapor barrier is actually really important because with just insulation alone, insulation isn't airtight. So air can still pass through. With the vapor barrier, it seals it really nice and then it prevents the drafts from coming in. So yeah, that'll be the next step. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do those pipes off camera. And then I'm also gonna add a vent pipe. So that way when I close the door over there, that way I can eventually pump heat into the crawl space. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. It's actually perfect because when I did the project for that pipe over here behind me, I actually have some spare. So this is actually the spare piece and it'll fit perfectly. So this will go inside the crawl space and then this will just hook up to the furnace eventually. I'll just leave it loose for now. And I'm also gonna have a screen that goes on the end that goes in the crawl space so the spiders don't go into my HVAC because that would be kind of bad. So I'm gonna use this to clamp the screen and also duct tape it. So that should be good. So yes, I'm gonna go ahead and do that off camera because it just makes a lot of dust. And just like that, it's done. Yeah, I wish it was actually that easy. Yeah, so basically what I did is I put some a two by four here and I strapped it down the pipes. And then I added a bunch of foam, like I like, sh like actual pieces of like rigid foam. I just like shoved it in the pipes just to hold it tight. And then I did that on the other side as well in the crawl space. 
and then I was gonna spray foam it, but the spray foam can I have, I guess it was expired, and like nothing came out, so it's late. The hardware store is closed, so I just said screw it. So this should be good. Like it's it's nice and solid. This isn't going anywhere. Now the tricky part is gonna be getting the vapor barrier all around and taped around here. So yeah, that be, might be a little tricky. I'm not sure exactly how I'm gonna do that. And then here I have a four inch pipe and it's going right inside. And then eventually what I'll do is I'll have it right up here and then I'll just run it to the ductwork. And then that way I'll have a little bit of air going in. I don't need a lot, like you can tell like the tape, it's kind of blocking it a bit and that's fine. I just need a little bit of hot air in there and then that will act as the return. Like even if I put a door there, I'll make sure there's a little vent just to have a bit of air circulation there. Now the other thing I've been thinking of is I might want to put a temperature sensor in there at some point. And it's basically now or never, because once I start putting the vapor barrier, it'll be hard to get wires on that side. So there's an electrical that goes here and then there's a hole in the wall on that side behind the insulation. And that's what does the lights over there. So what I'm thinking of doing is I might actually put a sensor in there and just leave the wire loose. And then that way when I decide to hook it up to my home automation system, I can just hook it up. Yeah, so the only thing left really is to insulate this section here. And then I'm actually done as far as insulation goes. Like I did all around here and it's all done. Except for the vapor barrier, of course. I still need to do the vapor barrier. All right, so this is gonna be it for this video. I decided I'm going to do the vapor barrier off camera. That way I can just release this video now. And it's going to be kind of awkward to do the vapor barrier because it's just like you're pulling it in all that. And so to try to have the camera there at the same time, it'll just be easier to do it off camera. And then I'll show the progress at some other point in another video. So yeah, so the installation is in, except for that one place where the pipes are. But the pipes are all done. I'm just waiting for some caulking to, to dry. And then I brace the pipes so they're nice and solid because before it was like pieces of wood that were like just kind of holding them there. So that is now solid. Like I have some proper strapping and everything. So, so that's good. So I was going to show you more footage of that crawl space, but my GoPro kept giving me trouble. I would start recording and then it would just say SD card error and then it would stop. So I only got a couple clips, but this is a couple pictures I took a while back of what it looks like in there. So it's kind of dingy. But with the spray foam, it really cleaned it up because it used to be just like cinder block. And then this is what it used to look like before, like when I bought the house. Yeah, just check out those spider webs. And believe it or not, I actually have a phobia of spider webs. Like, spiders don't really bother me, but spider webs do. Like, I don't know, the way they feel just icky and, you know, if it touches it, like, uh, it's like a weird phobia. Like, you hear people are like scared of pickles or like really weird phobias like that. Well, spider webs, that's mine. Yeah, so it was quite the experience to go inside the crawl space. I had a, like a really long pole. It was actually from like the curtains for like the front window. So like it extended like over 10 feet. And then I just kind of went in there and I just kind of moved my way. And I had the shop vac. The lighting that you see in there is actually, I installed that myself. Because I figured that anytime I go in there, it's nice to have lights. And like today, and even when I install those conduits, like all those little jobs that I did, it was very handy to have those lights. At some point I actually need to find a use for that crawl space because it is kind of a like, neat area. And now that I'm like vapor bearing and all that, I'm probably not really going to get spiders in there anyway. Like, like last summer when I went in there for the first time in years, it was only like the odd web here and there, it wasn't crazy so it could make like a nice wine cellar or something. But yeah, anyway, so long story short, the crawl space is now insulated. And the next step is the vapor barrier. So this is it for this video and thanks for watching. Mm -hmm. Bye.